Hi, welcome to ePredators Daily. I'm your host, Alexa Nicholas. Let's digest. We all know Justin Long. Um, if you don't, don't take too long searching him. I don't even know what to say. Um, we pretty much all know Justin Long at this point. We all know Jonah Hill. Hopefully we all know about that really, really, really offensive punked episode that they did together that looked more like an inside joke than, you know, uh, a prank. Tonight on Punked, Justin Long has a minor problem. I got a message letting me know that there were screenshots that they wanted to share of these alleged conversations via Instagram. Justin Long's looks like, um, uh, let's just say a lot more vanilla than Brandon Quinn's. But let's first go through Justin Long's conversation. So I'm guessing allegedly around May 2019, this fan who's 15 years old reaches out to Justin Long. Looks like she sends him a video. There's not a response. Then in July 23rd of 2019, another video happens. No response. Then July 23rd, the same day as the other video, he does respond. And he tells her, I'm sorry, I'm just seeing this. Still figuring out how this crazy new Instagram thing works. Ha ha. You know, Justin... If you're having to still figure out Instagram, you're too old to be having a conversation with a young 15-year-old fan, allegedly, hypothetically. Just saying. Um, But thank you for your very kind message. Big squeeze. So sweet. You know, I think you could have done better without the squeeze. Um, I think just ending it with goodbye would have been probably the right, right way to go. So anyway, so I see... He responded. She sends that screenshot. I'm like, okay. Next screenshot, though, it looks like they've been talking now um, for a while. Or actually, this is before. So actually, the, the confusing part about this is that allegedly he asked her to delete certain messages. But she allegedly actually took screenshots before she deleted messages. And so some of the screenshots that I have, like have some that are redacted and some of the conversation is actually still in there. So it looks like actually in September 21st, he did respond to one of her messages and he goes, Oh, hi from Kevin, the goofy, but lovable Disney mechanic. I think he's almost 40 years old at this point in 2019. I'm not, really positive but to act like you're one of your disney characters with a girl that looks like she is 15 years old is just um i don't know shady it's creepy it's just don't respond to any girl that looks like she's under the age of 25 to be quite honest with you But apparently Justin Long thinks he's a um, dress-up princess at Disneyland and he's ready to give out his autograph to this fan. She messages back, oh my God, OMG actually, a bunch of Gs because she's 15 years old, allegedly. Um, Did Kevin just say hi to me? She's literally calling him Kevin, his character name, not even talking to him as Justin Long. When people talk to me as Nicole, I even get uncomfortable. And it could be from the same gender, whatever. I get uncomfortable. Like, I don't really... Talking to fans is a very hard thing to do. And so just seeing him engaging with this young girl where she's actually calling him by his character name and Herbie Fully Loaded, by the way. Does anyone remember Herbie Fully Loaded? That was the movie with Lindsay Lohan where I think, like, the punch buggy or whatever, like talks, and I don't know, Justin Long, I think is the mechanic in it. Anyways, I haven't seen it in a very long time, but I think that's the movie she's referring to. He wasn't even 15 there. I think he was like 30 years old in Herbie Fully Loaded, which just goes to show you how old Justin Long is. Stop talking to 15 year olds, allegedly, hypothetically. So anyways, moving on, she goes, this made my whole night, all these cute emojis. You have no idea. I used to have the biggest crush on him. This is where, Justin, you go, I'm going to end this conversation, okay? 
Um, please bring that hair back, fire emoji, and also Ma Maggie and Kevin forever. She's literally calling him by his character name, and I think Maggie is Lindsay Lohan's character. It's, it's adorable, but I'm worried for her. Seeing this as a mom, if I were to see my daughter having this conversation with this random uh, celebrity with the pl blue dick tick, <laughs> sorry, the blue tick, um, I would be, I'd be worried for her. This looks like it's, it's, it's to catch a predator, to be honest with you. Like if I saw this conversation on to catch a predator, it looks like he's getting set up. Like she's so young in the conversation that it looks like someone's actually feeding her what to say to make her sound younger, you know? Um, so anyways, obviously she's a fan Obviously, Justin Long should stop having any type of communications with her, but he decides it looks like allegedly to keep talking to her. He tells her at one point, going to the barber, be right back, wink face emoji. What's with the wink face? You are you know you're talking to a young fan who's calling you Kevin, right? And not even Justin. You do realize that, right? Um, and then she says, can't wait to see with, you know, that little like smirk emoji and he hearts it. Then she looks like she responds, I think, to, uh, an Instagram story and says, daddy, um, with a heart emoji, fire emoji. And Justin responds with, ha ha, oh God, smacking himself in the face with an old emoji. I hope you actually did smack yourself in the f***ing face because this conversation is criminal almost. Um, and so anyways, she then says, so want to be my daddy with a, with a laugh emoji. That's where definitely this conversation should have 100% ended. But instead, Justin Long continues to engage with this allegedly 15-year-old girl, alleged 15-year-old girl. You know how he responds? Hmm. <laughs> First of all, what the f*** is the hmm for? What are you humming about? <laughs> what exactly are you thinking about? I, I'm very curious what, what, why the hmm. But he goes, hmm, so I'd be adopting you? You just gave her a wink face earlier, and now you're talking about adopting her. You're going to say it's as a joke. But do you understand the context? This girl has said that she has a crush on you. She is a fan. She looks like she's 13 years old. And you're continuing to engage with her. Which I'm not even sure if this is all the conversations that you had with her. Something tells me, in my opinion, that you talk to her maybe even outside of Instagram. Or you talk to her a lot more than what I've been given. Um, because what Brandon Quinn apparently told the other girl was to erase all of the text thread. And that's what all these guys end up doing, by the way, is when they get into these situations that they should not be in whatsoever, they make the victim feel like she has to clean up the, their mess, their criminal activity. And that's what they do. But these girls are a lot smarter than these guys think they are. They really underestimate these underage girls. And these girls are taking snapshots because they know, probably subconsciously, that something not right is happening there. Something's not right. And even if they take the snapshot because they're talking to a, a celebrity that they have a crush on or they, they idolize, regardless, they're taking these snapshots and these idiots are actually thinking they're deleting them. So news flash for the predators or alleged news flash for the alleged predators out there. They're taking the snapshots and guess who's receiving them now? Me. I'll continue with Justin Long's epic conversation with an alleged 15 year old girl. He then continues to say, wouldn't your own daddy be insulted? I'm insulted as a mom and I'm not even her mom. 
and I'm insulted by the fact that you think you can have a conversation with a 15 year old girl, give her wink emojis, tell her you're going to the barber, hearting her when she says she can't wait to see you, knowing that she's a fan, seeing images of her that make her look so, she looks young now and it's like what, four or five years later, bro, okay? Just Justin Long has a mi- I'm not going to put that in there, but I just, I, you really might have a minor problem. Like this is really, really, really bad. Um, I guess Justin, you also put hashtag guess that's very flattering. Like, I don't know what this conversation was, Justin, but all I do know is that I'm insulted. I'm offended that this young girl had to come across you where she was a fan and it looks like in my opinion that she was getting preyed upon by someone that she idolized and that was a full-grown adult and you're the age of her like you could literally be her father literally you could be her father and instead of protecting her when she's saying she had a crush on you, instead of making sure that she wasn't ever in an explo- like a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Exploitive? Uh, exploitive? An exploitive situation. You continued the conversation with her. And allegedly what she told me, Justin, was that you were on Snapchat too with her. So I don't know what happened. I wasn't there like all you guys like to say. I wasn't there. But when I look at this conversation, something's not sitting right with me. I don't know why a grown man would ever, ever be having a conversation with a young underage fan. Ever. It's unacceptable. You have no excuse. So you either have two choices. Was this a real conversation with this girl? Number one. And are you sorry about it? Are you taking it back? Because let me pull up. What what did you say about me again? What was it again? Oh, yeah. You like to remind me that it was two decades ago. My assault from Jonah Hill. How long ago was 2019 Justin Long? Yeah, not two decades ago, bro. Um, while Justin is sympathetic to any and all victims of any abuse, you know, why don't you talk for yourself? You talked for yourself to a 15-year-old girl. Where are you now? Hiding behind a lawyer like that. <clears throat> um, well, Justin is sympathetic to any and all victims of any abuse. No, you're not. I don't believe that. The simple fact, and there's no such thing as a simple fact when it comes to of a minor, remains he has no knowledge of what may or may not have happened concerning Miss Nicholas. I don't know what may or may not have happened with your fan here via DM on Instagram, but what it looks like, Justin, is not so good. So anyways, I don't know what happened, may or may not have happened, um, but I just also, I really do find it interesting that all of you guys have no problem leaving all of this alleged evidence with underage girls, underage fans. But when it comes to having to face any type of accountability for your alleged actions, you talk through a lawyer. How about you start having a lawyer in your DMs? Maybe you won't be getting into this much trouble anymore. <laughs> I, would give your, I would give your lawyer your fucking Instagram access and have him handle your DMs from this point on. Maybe your parties too. He can be your bouncer. He can be your social media marketing person so that you're not in situations like this because this is just humiliating. Also, I'm sorry, I can't even stop. Also, it's after the Me Too movement. So we're talking Me Too movement happens and you're having conversations with underage girls. And by the way, she says, allegedly, that you knew she was underage. Now, it may or may not have happened, but dude, I clicked on her Instagram account. She looks underage now, right now. She looks underage. So what are you doing? And you definitely remember, by the way, um, my friend and your roommate Togo 
and you remember the night of Jonah Hill. You might not have remembered the Jonah Hill incident that happened, but you remember me. And now you definitely will remember me. <laughs>